Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It's a gorgeous sunrise, and the fishing is red hot here in Southern California and the other side of the border down in Mexico. We're going to cover it all for you. Big bluefin tuna continue to bite. There's a spectacular story about a couple of young men from Michigan who came out here, went on their very first tuna trip on board the Pacific Dawn, and created memories for a lifetime. You're going to love that story. We've had a signal of white sea bass. There continues to be halibut. There's a surf fishing event and there's been great surf fishing here in Surfside with Freedman Adventures this weekend on Saturday and then Sunday. I'm at Bass Pro Shops giving a surf fishing seminar. You are not going to want to miss that. At the end of today's show, Paulina Varela will be unloading a ponga down in Mexico. In case you mix, missed that, I've tagged it on. She knows how to handle fish and you'll see big yellowtail, some ling cut, and great rock fishing in Ensenada. We've got that and so much more. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Mm. Already came to the end of my coffee. Way too early here this morning. Hey, we've got so much action-packed morning briefing for you. Thank you so much for joining us. I've got to tell you, it's absolutely beautiful here. If it's like this on Saturday for our next surf fishing event on my birthday, by the way, couldn't think of a better way to start my B-Day off than with you. It's going to be spectacular. It should be a great day and a lot of fishing. By the way, that surf fishing event this Saturday, you can go down to Big Fish Bait and Tackle on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. 10% off anything that is not already on sale. And don't forget, they have their surf fishing derby going on every single month. They're giving away a free custom rod. We, of course, will be trying to catch a big bar perch and win that custom rod for one of our folks down here on the Freedman Adventures Surf Fishing Weekend. And then Sunday out at Bass Pro Shops. If you don't mind, hit that like button. We deeply appreciate that. Share these videos with a friend. Don't forget, subscribe to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel and hit that bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. You can find us, for the time being anyway, on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and also Apple Podcast and Spotify every single day. We have got to jump in to some spectacular fishing. Let's do that. I'll start you out south of the border. Cabo San Lucas, continue good. Striped marlin fishing going on there. You find a pod of dolphin, you are likely to encounter some good yellowfin tuna fishing down there in that neck of the woods. It's been really, really good. And then you see some Dorado and also an occasional Wahoo smattered through there. Down 140 miles below the border. That's pretty darn close. It's a great drive to go to San Quentin, Baja California Norte, where there's been spectacular yo-yo iron yellowtail fishing yesterday, day before. It's been steady and good fishing the yo-yo iron. Small heavy jig, you sink deep, wind on fast, and then those yellows just jump on those jigs. You wind down to set the hook. You don't rear back on the rod to set the hook. You just keep turning the handle. Man, that is so much fun. And they're catching yellows in the 10 to 18, 20 pound class, sometimes a little bit bigger than that. A good amount of great rock fishing down there and some superior lingcod fishing also going on. In the Ensenada area, don't forget, stay tuned. Paulina is going to show you much of the fish that they're catching in Ensenada. Good shot of yellowtail from time to time. Not huge numbers, but, you know, a yellow or two or three per ponga down there. Great rock fishing going on. There's big lings. There's lots of reds. There's big bocaccio occasional shot of barracuda good calico bass fishing down there in that neck of the woods and those big bonito also it's been spectacular down there in Ensenada only 70 miles below the border although those guys many of them are going down about 20 miles down to Santo Tomas and surrounding areas where they're finding some great fishing long-range fishing has been spectacular Royal Polaris with another good day on the Wahoo and the yellowfin tuna a lot of that 70 to 90 pound YFT they're looking for the big ones I've no doubt they will get on them the Royal Polaris on an 18-day trip that's the kind of trips that San Diego based long-range base boats run during the winter time you know 16 18 day trips they have been doing fantastic time to talk about the bluefin tuna out of san diego oh my god it's so good right now it has been spectacular and nothing illustrates this point better than two guys from michigan who came out here to southern california to give their first tuna fishing trip 
a try. They did it on board the Pacific Dawn. And I'm talking about Joe Thill and Nick Kinsey. Now, it was Nick's first trip to California. Now, Joe, on the other hand, is a seasoned veteran. He's been out here on work before, and he's fished on the new Seaforth and caught sculpin, and he's caught sand bass. But he was thinking, man, I want to really catch one of these bluefin tuna. I've never done it before. In fact, he's talking to himself, talking to his friends. I've never been on a tuna trip before, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to take my buddy, who's first time in California, Nick Kinsey, out, and they are not regretting it one bit because they created memories for a lifetime. They were on board the Pacific Dawn. And by the way, Joe said, Phil, the guys on the Dawn, they obviously love what they're doing because they are so good. They are so enthusiastic. They were on every single tangle. They helped us to realize our dreams. Hats off to the guys on the Dawn for providing such an awesome adventure for these two fine young men from Michigan. And man, they pulled a rabbit out of the hat with great fishing. The Dawn had limits of bluefin tuna. Ten of their fish were up over 100 pounds. That is long range style fishing in day and a half range of San Diego here as we're just getting ready to turn the calendar into spring. Tomorrow is the first day of spring. Tremendous fishing. There were daytime fish and nighttime fish. The daytime fish were mostly fly line. There were sinker rig fish, but the nighttime was the right time. That's when you had the most fish and the biggest fish, according to Joe. They made a 110 mile run down. Eddy bombs were exceptionally effective. So eddy bombs were working really, really well. But also in addition to that, they caught them on the 400 gram rip rollers. That was also very, very effective. I have to take a moment here to remind you all that when you're on one of these trips, Tribute going tonight, he just had limits on his last trip. Tribute going tonight. When the captain tells you to drop, you have got to drop immediately. That means you're not lally gagging around in the galley or screwing around drinking coffee. I know it's hard, especially when you've been looking around for a couple hours to stay attentive, to stay at the rail or near your rod. But when that captain says, hang on, I'm on some fish, get ready everybody, you need to be ready to go. Real and freezeful, ready to drop, drop to the exact depth he tells you to by having metered line that changes color every 100 feet to get you to the appropriate depth, and that will make it happen for you. I couldn't be more thrilled for Joe and Nick. What a great adventure they had. What a great accomplishment. And Joe, thank you so much for sharing all of that with us, going from half day to the big time and being so accomplished at what you were able to do. And I know you owe a lot of that to the crew. You made that clear to me. So happy for you guys for such a spectacular catch. And you too can realize your sport fishing dreams because this is getting better and better and better and better. Don't forget, we are on board the Independence April 4th through the 9th, and there's still room on board. Great price, opulent boat, tremendous crew. I'll be there shooting a video with my son, Philip. It's going to be so much fun. Independentsportfishing.com right now. Join us on our April 4th five-day trip back in on the night. That is going to be a lot of fun. Folks, I've got to also tell you that there are several other boats getting ready to run trips down that way. You're going to want to take advantage of it while you can. Don't forget tonight, Tackle Shop Confessions, our live show with Sam De La Torre from Island Fishing Tackle. You can ask any question you want about bluefin tuna, and Sam will have an answer, whether it's the type of gear you want to ask him about, and he will show it to you tonight on Tackle Shop Confessions or methodology, technique, anything about bluefin tuna or anything else. If you're fishing halibut, bass, anything else, tackle shop confessions tonight at 6 p.m. Don't forget it is tax season and there's nobody better than Tim Marquez to handle your tax situation. Past taxes, present taxes, a best income tax. Give Tim a call today and if you have heating and air conditioning needs, then John Lopez is your man from efficient heating and air conditioning. Give John a call today. He'll take good care of you. I guarantee you that. About 110 miles down to that bluefin tuna. 
great nighttime fishing, nice weather forecast. Things are looking fantastic. We'll keep you in touch with that and so much more. We pop across the border and now let's just talk Southern California in general. Rockfish season closed here in the United States, open in Mexico. It opens up April the 1st. So right now we're catching sculpin, we're catching whitefish, we're trying to catch some halibut. We're seeing a little bit of white sea bass here and there. And then rockfish will open on April the 1st day. And man, then it is game on. It should be absolutely fantastic. We are continuing to monitor this halibut bite up and down the coast. Now, our local halibut bite here in SoCal at one time was red hot, but it has slowed. No question about it. Native Sun had one halibut yesterday and it's been scratchy on the flatfish. A temporary lull for sure. It should get rocking and rolling again with the grunion run on the horizon. Those tiny little fish that come up on the beach to lay their eggs. I believe March 25th is the next one. Sometimes that acts as a big old chum bucket. Chum machine just brings more predators in here. So this temporary lull hopefully will pick up again. Many boats have been going to Catalina Island and a lot of the guys out of 22nd Street, Long Beach, sport fishing have been having some decent fishing over there. So the El Patron was there yesterday and had another great trip out of Long Beach sport fishing. They had 19 anglers with limits of sheep's head, that's two per rod. They also had a couple of halibut, 55 blue perch. And I know you think I'm nuts about blue perch because I talk about them a lot, but they disappeared from Catalina Island. It seems like they're back again. So that is great news to see that just because it tells me the oceanography perhaps is changing and things are getting better and who knows, maybe there would be a long fin albacore somewhere around. Maybe that's the missing link, the blue perch, blue perch, Catalina, albacore. Uh, I'm not going with that one quite yet. When the albacore bite, I'll go with that one. So some good fishing over there at Catalina Island. We saw the pursuit over there out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. And they ended up with seven halibut. The Pride on an overnight trip had six halibut and one white sea bass out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. So there is a little bit of halibut around right now. There's good sheep's head. There's plenty of whitefish. Great table fare being provided for each and every one of you. The local boats who are fishing in here are doing pretty good from San Diego all the way up to Ventura. Down in San Diego, good friend of Friedman Adventures is Mike Garcia. Mike, it's so good to see you holding up that big sand bass that you caught on board the Premier out of San Diego. The boats down there are picking at the bass. They're catching some scoping and whitefish, occasional halibut from time to time on board the Mission Bell yesterday. Scott Butchert was in the galley preparing masterpieces, culinary masterpieces for you all. Scott said some pretty good bass fishing, picking at it is what he said, and then plenty of whitefish to go along for everybody. So nothing wrong with that kind of a score on a gorgeous morning. The sun is shining. It's sunny. It's warm. It's beautiful. I don't know how you can beat this weather up there out of Ventura sport fishing. They continue to do really well on the island spirit. Their most recent trip, they had sheep's head whitefish, some halibut to go along with it. And the island spirit is offering 20% off aboard their trips. If you book before April 1st, now you can call the landing and give the code word, which is preseason 20, or you can book online at Ventura Sport Fishing. In either case, all your trips this year, you could knock 20% off if you act before April the 1st. And on board the Island Spirit on Sunday, kids fish free, 12 and under with a paid adult, you fish for free. So that is definitely something you're gonna wanna take advantage of. And April 1st, of course, we will have our rockfish season opening up here in Southern California. So that is going to be fantastic and provide excellent table fare and lots of great fish for each and every one of you. Island Spirit, don't forget that. We have several trips that we just announced, two on the El Patron. These are Freeman Adventure trips. I will be there May the 9th, May the 23rd. Send me a text and we'll book you on there before it's too late. They're already starting to sell out. 657-227-6459. And the El Patron is sold out this Saturday already, going to Catalina. 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. They're great trips. They have room on Friday and Sunday, but you better hurry up and call Long Beach Sport Fishing and get on the El Patron. This weekend, they're going to have some great fishing. They've already had some great fishing. The boat's beautiful, and they're limited to 20 anglers. I don't know how you can beat it. It's 
fantastic. El Patron, Long Beach Sport Fishing. This weekend, you better jump on board that one. Also, we continue to see some really good surf fishing. Here, look at this ocean. I mean, if it's like this for our surf fishing event, did I mention that? Probably, I don't know. We have a surf fishing event this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, my birthday. I'm gonna celebrate it surf fishing with you, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's when I will be here in Surfside, California with each and every one of you. You can come earlier and stay later. Have at it. But I'll be here from 8 to 11. And man, the surf fishing events that we've had this year have been spectacular. We've caught all kinds of fish and had so much fun and met so many great people. And then Sunday, I'll be at Bass Pro Shops in Rancho Cucamonga, 12 noon giving a surf fishing seminar. We would love a big crowd out there. They have their spring spectacular going on at Bass Pro Shop. So they have some incredible savings, discounts going on. And then you'll give me an opportunity at 12 noon to say hello and thank you for your great support and our soaring stats here on the morning briefing on Tackle Shop Confessions, on everything we're doing south of the border. Friedman Adventures YouTube channel is soaring and I have no doubt why that's all because of you, and it gives me a chance to thank you. Every time I get a chance to do that is a very special and great day for me. Um, so really, some great stuff going on. We'll see you this weekend. Don't forget, 10% off at Big Fish Bait and Tackle on everything that is not on sale. Grab your ghost strip, grab your worms, get your butt down here. Let's have some fun. Bring the kids, bring the family. It's a really good time. All you got to do is send me that text and I'll send you directions to get here. 657-227-6459 and we'll get you all taken care of. Lobster hoop netting has also been spectacular. There's been great lobster hoop netting on your promarahi.com. Lobster update, seven lobster per angler and that has not been a problem on many of the trips as the lobster season is coming to an end here very, very soon really has been a great year. Hey, Steve Duncan was some great local halibut fishing. In fact, he was going to go to Catalina Island and he said, you know what, let's just hang out here and see if we can't come up with a few nice big halibut. Valentino, buenos dias hermano, as Valentino goes by, hard working guy, great guy. So Steve with a nice hit there and Tommy Cuncoro on a kayak with a nice flat fish also there still some flatties around. I know our sport boats have kind of just uh, had a little bit slower by, but it's temporary low and hopefully it's going to get rocking and rolling here very, very soon. We've got a great surf fishing event for you this weekend right here on the beach, actually doing the fishing and then a seminar at Bass Pro on Sunday, Saturday here on the beach, Sunday at Bass Pro. Some great trips that we are announcing that you can join us on the local kind of trips 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. on board the El Patron and then we'll be up on the Island Spirit at the end of May for a great trip and then of course we have some great tuna trips on the Amigo, on the Apollo. They're going to be fantastic and our long range trip, our five day trip still has some openings April 4th through the 9th. We would love you to join us on that one. I don't know what to tell you. It is spectacular right now. Bluefin tuna are biting full speed. The Pacific Dawn with a great trip. The Polaris Supreme had a good one. The Tribute with limits here recently going again tonight. It's really great, great stuff. Hey, have a great day, my friends. It's a beautiful Monday. I'll see you tonight on Tackle Shop Confessions. Don't go anywhere. We're going to roll right into Paulina, unloading a ponga down there in Ensenada. You're going to love that. And of course, if I don't see you this weekend, on Saturday, on my birthday actually, when we're surf fishing, or on Sunday out there at Bass Pro Shops, I hope to see you somewhere else really, really soon. Have a great day. Thanks for all you do for Friedman Adventures. Beautiful times here in beautiful Ensenada, Baja California. You can see a bigger boat, but over to the right is a smaller ponga. He had some yellowtail bonita and rockfish out near Todos Santos Island. 
Paulina's going to talk to him. We'll find out what they were biting on, how much fish he saw, and so much more. Stay tuned, everybody. Here comes the Ponga, the Capitan. His real name is Jose, but his nickname is Foca, Sea Lion, because he was in the water swimming one time, and a kid said, oh my God, look, a sea lion, and he actually really likes that name. So here he comes. He's had some yellows, Bonita. We'll see what he caught him on and how much he saw, because Paulina We'll be talking to him and asking him about his catch today out of Ensenada, Baja, California, North. Excitement on the docks. Paulina, hey. is this exciting? Yes, they Here have comes some yellow. Yeah, who the hell? Yes. Here they come. Foca Hola. and David. Foca. Fish there. Oh, my God. Look at that. I see a lot of, like, rockfish in there. Yeah. But we're kind of excited, Paulina, about the yellowtail, right? Yes, a big yellowtail. Oh. And That's they cool. have also bonitas and some bottom fish. Let's see what they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to go on board and check yeah, it out? Of course. Okay, cool. Foca, hola. 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 David. Hola, hola. hola David. Hi. ¿Cómo estás? Hi. Y Foca. Hola. Bien, bien. Muy bien. ¿Qué sacaron? I'm asking what they have today here on board. Ooh, they still alive. Whoa, there's some <laughs> nice fish. Yeah, we can see here some rockfish. Let's see what else. A oh, bigger one. Nice. Bigger one, rockfish. Ooh, those are nice. Yes. We also have, que mas hay? Que mas hay? Uh, grouper. Bocaccio. Grouper. Grouper. Bocaccio. Bocaccio. Beautiful. Salmon yes. grouper. Yeah, Bocaccio. nice. Another red snapper. Whitefish. Some little whitefish here. Paulina, I am very impressed with you picking the fish up. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Ooh, bigger one. Oh, nice one. That's yes. a good Boccaccio. Yes. Really nice. Wow, these guys hammered them. Yeah. What, what else are you going to do there? Just <laughs> fish. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. They leave the ocean without fishes. <laughs> I mean, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> this is my face every time I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Me or the audience out there? <laughs> no, for you. Oh, for thank you, you. Philip. Hey, thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of fish in there. Man, these guys really put the wood to them. And there's some nice quality fish here. Man, they nailed them. Yo quiero pescar con ustedes. Ah, in la voladora. Vamos. Jeez, there's a lot of fish still, Paulina. Yes, it is. <laughs> so we can have dinner, breakfast, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, a lincoln, maybe? Yeah, look what I found here. That must be. <laughs> Look what I found here. Oh, A nice land. Yes. That is beautiful. Here. And we're waiting for the price, right? Yeah, what? The hotel? The yellowtail? Yellow, yellow stuff there? <laughs> <laughs>
Where is that yellowtail? Oh, ooh, nice grouper. Yes. Big bonito. That big bonita. Beautiful, man. Look. Those are nice. Still, still eating some yeah. sardine there. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. What else we got in there? All the bottom of the ocean, as you can see. God, I know. <laughs> These guys had a great trip, as you can yeah. see. <laughs> and here comes a happy ending. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Whoa, that looks like a pretty big forky to me. Woohoo! Look, Look at that, that yellow. It's beautiful. Hold on, Paulina, let's see that. What a nice forkage. You see yes. that thing, like 20 pounds, maybe 18, like maybe that, maybe 18. That's a nice fish. Yes, it is. Good job, Foca y David. Yes. Felicidades. Gracias. De Gringolandia. <laughs> that is nice. Good yes. job. Yeah. Paulina, you want to ask these guys how they caught those? Was it yo yo iron oh, or yeah. what was it? Eh, troleado, jigging. The, the, the yellow tail was trolling with, with rapala. Yeah, the rapala. Uh -huh. the bonitas was trolling too. Trolling the bonitas. Jigging. And where? Linkat was jogging, jigging, yeah. sorry. The, the rockfish? <laughs> no, the linkat. Oh, okay. Jigging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Soledad. Okay. Soledad. Very good. Todo? What is it? All How of the fishes were there, down oh. in Soledad. Okay, very good. How far is that from here? How far? Lejos. 19 miles. Okay, pretty south, good run. South yeah. from here. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful fish. How yeah. deep were they fishing? Estaba muy hondo. Estaba muy hondo. 280, 300 feet. Feet. Yeah. yeah feet. All right, perfect. Yes. Good stuff. Yes. And how was there? How was the ocean today? Was it calm? Was it? Uh, calmito, viento. No, yeah, not bad. Not bad? No, not bad. No viento, no, no wind. No, 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 no wind. No wind. Almighty, <laughs> look at it. And, and still more vision there. I know. <laughs> great. All right, Pauline, anything else you want to say? Is that it? Yeah, that's that looks it. great. I'm fishing and, well, we're going to eat fish for a lot of days. Oh, my God, <laughs> yeah. All right, hey, David. Thank yeah. you so much, Foca. Yeah. Thank you. He's my captain. Let I me know. Tell you. He's my yes. captain, the one who takes me fishing every time I want, the one who takes me to tournaments here in Ensenada or San Quintin down there. And David is also part of the team. We went fishing last year to San Quintin. We participated in a tournament, Copa La Baja, in San Quintin, and we won with a Lincat and a Bonita. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. So we are here all fishing lovers. And I bet you're excited about this year. Yes, Ready? Yes, of course. Waiting for May. Waiting. Yes. yes. All, right. all right. Thank you, Paulina. Great job. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Foca is going to play this beautiful yellow tail up as well as all the rockfish and the lingcod and provide a feast for us because in just a few more moments... Paulina is going to put out a beautiful spread of sashimi yellowtail and lingcod. So come along and enjoy. Here, Paulina. Where we are cutting some jalapenos, Ooh. some onions, because we're going to make sashimi for um, the, that fresh yellowtail you saw. Yum. Yes. When are we going to have that? When? Yes. Right away. Ooh. All right, I'm in. Yes. So here's the fresh yellow tail you saw before. Look at this. Beautiful, Paulina. Yes, and I'm gonna slice it for a delicious sashimi. Man, you're doing a lot of work tonight. Beautiful. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't wait. Paulina, what is that mixture you have there? This is what is the that? Secret mixture. Yeah, oh, you're not going to tell us? Yeah, I told you before when I was chopping the onions. Oh, I forgot. What'd you yeah, say? <laughs> <laughs> it's onion, jalapeno, uh, yellow lemon, and soy sauce, some olive oil, and I think it's all. That's it, okay. Yeah, that's the poison. Beautiful. <laughs> the poison. Yes. All right, so, can't wait. This looks so good. Yeah, so this is a fresh yellowtail. 
I know your mouth watering. No, oh, it is. Yep. That looks so good. See, and then you just wait for some minutes so you can take the flavor of the mix. And we have here a lot of fish because that yellow tail was big. I mean, this is not even the half of it. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Yes, it is. Wait to try it. All right. Can't wait. Thank you, Paulina. Yes. No, that's looking good. Yeah, we have here the fresh yellow tail. We're getting the party started. We have the glasses. We have cigars. And we have tequila. So, wow, this is getting out of hand. Yeah, yeah. So we are getting ready. And I will be having coffee tonight, as you yes. well know. Yes, yes. All right, good job. Looking good. Yeah. Love it. Oh, my God. Del agua. Your turn. Muy rico. Ah, sí? Paulina. Paulina. You should try this. Who? You. I'm going to. Yeah. I've already tried it. You know I have. Yeah, I have to cover it here in the space. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, is that good, huh? Is it good? Yeah. Very, very. Try it before it's too late. Yeah. Go ahead, you guys. Oh, cheers. Salud. Welcome to the party. <laughs> the fish party. <laughs> Yay. Now more fish. What a memorable evening that was. The sashimi was so delicious, but the company, the people there, we're so loving and kind. It's a night I'll never forget. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Foca is back out at it again today, catching more yellowtail. The yellows are firing up south of Ensenada. We'll keep you in touch with that right here on Friedman Adventures. And, of course, our Ensenada connections with Paulina will continue throughout the year. What a memorable and lovely evening. Thank you, Paulina, and everybody who was there. And thank you for tuning in, everybody. We'll be back with more shortly.